Breaking news. Kilauea volcano erupts, unleashing lava and ash, threatening Hawaiian communities. In a dramatic and unsettling turn of events, Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupted early this morning, spewing rivers of molten lava and immense plumes of ash into the air. From the conduit that had been evacuated of lava deeply into the volcano. The sudden eruption has thrown nearby communities into a state of alarm, with thousands of residents now facing the reality of evacuation as the fiery flow relentlessly advances. The eruption, which began around 4.30 a.m. local time, originated from fissures along the volcano's highly active eastern rift zone. This region has long been known for its volatile activity, but today's eruption appears to be among the most forceful in recent memory. For dioxide gas and the sulfuric acid mist. By midday, lava flows had already traveled several miles, cutting through dense vegetation, engulfing roadways, and threatening homes in its path. Emergency sirens wailed as evacuation orders were issued for neighborhoods at immediate risk. Families hastily packed their belongings, leaving behind homes that some may never return to. Drone footage captured the striking, yet haunting, imagery of fiery rivers of lava carving through the landscape, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Nearby towns, including Pahoa and Lalani estates, are bearing the brunt of the unfolding disaster. We were woken up by the sound of what I thought was thunder, but it turned out to be the eruption, said local resident Keanu Kaleo who fled with his family as lava approached their home. There's this constant rumble, and the ground feels alive. It's terrifying. Volcanologists with the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, have been closely monitoring Kilauea's activity, issuing warnings earlier in the week following a series of small earthquakes near the summit. Those tremors, it turns out, were ominous precursors to today's explosive event. This eruption has rapidly escalated in intensity, explained Dr. Mika Nakamura, a leading volcanologist with the USGS. Transitioning down to the lower east rift zone, I'd like to... We are seeing high lava flow rates, significant ash emissions, and elevated levels of toxic gases like sulfur dioxide, making this a multifaceted hazard for the community. Environmental and health risks, the impact of Kilauea's eruption extends far beyond the immediate threat of lava. Volcanic ash has blanketed nearby areas, creating hazardous driving conditions and forcing local airports to suspend operations. The fine particles of ash pose respiratory dangers, particularly for those with pre-existing conditions, and officials are urging residents to wear masks and stay indoors. Compounding these challenges is the release of volcanic gases, including sulfur dioxide, which can cause severe respiratory issues. In response, the Hawaii Department of Health has set up air quality monitoring stations to provide real-time data and guidance for residents. Schools and businesses in the affected zones have been closed indefinitely, Little, little droplets fly out. And emergency shelters have been established to accommodate those displaced by the eruption. This is a humanitarian crisis unfolding in real time, said Mayor Mitch Roth of Hawaii County. Our community is resilient, but the scale and speed of this eruption are testing all of us. Historical perspective and lingering fears. Kilauea's current eruption is evoking painful memories of its 2018 eruption, which destroyed over 700 homes and displaced more than 2,000 residents. For many, the trauma of that event feels fresh, and today's disaster has reignited fears of prolonged instability. 
This volcano has been part of our lives for generations.